Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'll be discussing Oxygen OS 3.2.1 for the OnePlus 3. This is the latest update available and it was released for OnePlus 3 just a few weeks ago. Now before we start discussing everything in detail, let's have a look and see which version of Oxygen OS we are running. So let's get into settings and about phone and from here as you can see it's running Oxygen OS 3.2.1 along with uh, Marshmallow 6.0.1 as well. And we have uh, the June uh, security patch that will update and I'm hoping that at some point by the end of this month or maybe next month we'll have the July update come up as well. Okay now let's get into this uh, gallery where I took some screenshots of the change log because I wanted to discuss everything in detail with you guys. Okay, as you can see here, the update was like I said a few weeks ago, and I took a screenshot at 3.2.1. Uh, just to remind you, there was also an update 3.2.0, which was released by uh, OnePlus uh, for the OnePlus 3. Apparently, it had a bug where the dual SIM issue and several other issues were noted, so they quickly pulled it off. Some people got the update, some people didn't. I was one of those who didn't get the 3.2.0, instead, we got the 3.2.1. But the ones who really got the first bit, 3.2.0, they got a smaller update to catch up with dot one update whereas us lot uh, people like me and other people who did not receive the first bit they received the larger at uh, 396 meg update okay anyways so let's carry on with this as you can see fixed some notification issues i personally never had no issues with any notifications on the oneplus 3 so i will probably ignore this addressed sim recognition issue now lots of people obviously made uh, a huge fuss about it and there was a big big uh, issues and lots of videos on the internet and obviously i wouldn't say that people were making actually fuss the fuss was quite real and that was that people were having issues with their dual sim so it was a legitimate issue problem which oneplus had to obviously look at so i'll be i've got two sims in the phone now so i'll be specifically looking at this i will activate the dual sim in front of you live on the camera in just a moment and we'll see if that issue has been fixed in this update also enable srgb mode and developer options which I will also be showing you in just a moment. Now, improved RAM management. I did make a video before this update, if you remember, guys, about a month ago, I think, if I remember correctly. And uh, even though, personally, I never had any major issues, but there were some minor issues where uh, the OnePlus 3 wasn't able to hold more than 8 or 9 apps, and eventually it was rebooting the games and other apps. And hopefully, uh, sorry, reloading, not rebooting. So hopefully, in this update, that problem will be fixed, and I will show you live on the camera in this very video how that works. Also, improved GPS never had no issues like i said so i'll skip this as well enhanced audio playback quality now i've been listening to music on the speakers and also on the headphones and to be honest uh, to me i have not seen any major difference there might be a slight bit of better audio coming from the phone but nothing substantial and nothing major the speaker on this phone is very good and i like it and it's, you know, it keeps the same audio as far as i'm concerned uh, updated custom icon packs which i will show you as well uh, improved camera quality and functionality and nothing from what i can see the camera was brilliant from day one however i haven't tested the the video bit just yet if you remember i did post a video on uh, my channel about the video uh, quality of the oneplus C's camera i will be testing it in the next few days or maybe a week or two and i will report back if the video side has improved the video side was the only weakness in the oneplus C's camera uh, picture wise it was brilliant with no issues whatsoever Okay, uh, fixed some issues in gallery. Once again, never had no issues in the OnePlus 3's gallery app, which I installed from the Play Store. Uh, I don't use Google Photos because I don't personally like them. Okay, latest Google security patch, which I showed you already. That was the June up, uh, patch update. Hopefully, we'll have the July update or the August patch level update very, very soon as well. Fixed bugs in clock and music apps. No, I didn't find no uh, bugs in the clock or the music app, and I've had no issues whatsoever. So I'll be discussing things like RAM management, uh, also uh, custom icon packs, and several other things here like sim recognition and also the srgb mode and i'll be showing you also the battery life on the phone which many very very few people seem to discuss, discuss on youtube and you can also you can only test that if you live with the phone for a few weeks and that's why guys i never rush into my videos i always take my time live with the update for at least a couple of weeks and then come up with a video okay so first of all let's have a look and see uh, about the, the the very first bit i'll discuss with you is guys the ram management that was like i said uh, a big a huge issue uh, and a lot of people discussed it that's the most important thing so what I'll do now is I will do it live on the camera I'll open about 10 odd apps about 8 odd apps and 2 games and this will be the exact replica of what I did in my previous video I've watched my previous video already guys and I have uh, made preparations for this already so I'll be replicating the exact RAM management test here live in front of you in the, in the camera and see if the phone uh, does any better so first of all let's get into Instagram there we go that's my Instagram page here you go and this is my last picture that I posted there you go okay now let's do this very very quickly youtube and then go on to the youtube channel there we go my videos and let's open up my one plus three battery performance video let's pause it here get out of this google plus there we go 
and then go into my notifications if you can mind my profile and let's get into the last article that I had here we go okay so this is where the comment section are I'm discussing all this stuff with people so we leave it there uh, get into do Facebook and from here let's get into my page which is JDN World Freak and on my page the very last article was just there unboxing the Choitech uh, multi USB port charger let's get into the comment section and it's blank as you can see just leave it there now time to get into Twitter and my profile page again profile here and then just leave it there for now okay then let's get into phone genie this is an app which I often use to uh, get information about phones and top-end uh, tech news we just leave it as it is now let's get into Appy geek this is the app also which I read often for all the latest gadget news and articles so let's get into here Samsung S7 Galaxy S7 active uh, uh, um, article so we leave it there as well and then in the end let's open Play Store up and let's get into my apps for instance and let's get into Amazon shopping and just leave it there as it is so we have opened so far one two three four five six seven eight this was exactly what I did last time as well I opened eight eight apps up and then I eventually went down there and I opened two games up Unkilled and Terminator so I'm gonna follow the exact sequence let's open Unkilled up and let's have a look and see if this game comes up this game will eventually obviously come up and we will go right into the game and then we'll leave it right there once we are about to play and we'll pause the game and then we'll go to the other game and do the same there as well once we are up with 10 apps this is the like I said the exact replica of my test which I did in my previous video I will leave you a link down below for the older video so you can compare that with this one and see if the same let's reduce the volume get into the story and from here again to a mission there we go start it will take a bit of time before it loads up obviously but uh, I really want to show you this because this is very very important when it comes to RAM management a lot of people like I said had lots of issues with and they were not happy with the way they had RAM managed okay there we go live in the game now let's pause the game there we go let's get out of the game now let's get into Terminator there we go and let's load this up as well so this will be the last app we will open up and then we'll go back and see if it's able to retain all the games and the apps this is also a very heavy game it takes a bit of while before it loads up and um, won't be long for more than a few seconds and once we get into the game and we'll get out of the game as well okay it's now nearly loaded there we go so let's get into missions and let's get into the first mission here and deploy next okay now you can see we are live in the game let's pause it here leave it as it is and let's get out of it okay so now let's get into uh, all the RAM management bit now that we have all the uh, apps running already so we have eight apps and two games okay so first of all let's go to the very first app which was settings so as you can see it was there already where we left it Google in fact we have now 11 apps including this one so it'd be even a better test gallery app exactly where we left it and this was in fact this is the 12th app I would say I in fact completely forgot to remove the other apps but don't worry about it so let's make it 12 apps instead of 10 apps Instagram there we go exactly where we left it okay YouTube exactly where we left it as well on my Oxygen OS battery performance video Google Plus as you can see exactly where we left it my last article like I said earlier Facebook okay exactly where we left it it was blank the comment section I was under the the last article on my Facebook as well okay so let's get into my Twitter on my page exactly there you can't even see that uh, reloading sign that we had in my previous video even on phone genie if you remember this is where exactly it couldn't retain the information and it went back to the, the original state of the, of the app in my previous video but here you can see it is exactly where we left it okay happy geek there we go s7 active article still there as well let's get into Amazon shopping this was in the Play Store is there as well with no issues whatsoever so far unkilled brilliant now this is also if you remember my last video um, uh, the one plus three lost both the games one this one unkilled and also terminator so just resume it there we go you can go into the game straight away so now let's get into the last game which was terminator and there we go as you can see it's there in the memory live exactly where we left it as well so from my side a ram management 10 out of 10 no more issues anybody who wants wishes to open more than 12 uh, apps and one go uh, good luck because uh, I don't see majority of people opening more than three 
or four apps so no issues here whatsoever now next up is the srgb mode uh, if you remember i showed you in the log uh, shed uh, that you now have the srgb enable srgb mode in developer options so what you do is now you have to first of all go into settings and from here you go to about phone and then right at the end on build number you have to tap seven times as you can see it's saying you are already a developer but if you are not you can uh, tap on it like seven times once you do that once you go back you will see uh, it will say now you are a developer and your developer options come up straight away without any issues now if you go to the picture mode this is where you can use your srgb mode so if you go in there you can see the color of the screen goes a bit pale it goes into the uh, uh, the srgb mode but to be honest if i keep it switched off i don't know if you can see that on the camera there's more uh, punch on the screen the, the colors get more punchy but if you use srgb mode the screen goes a bit pale it has more of an lcd kind of effect which i personally don't like at all so I'd rather have it on off so that I can use the actual colors of the AMOLED, Super AMOLED screen on this phone, which is very, very nice and very punchy colors as well. So this is also something which you can do now on the new version. So next up is your icon apps. As you know, uh, let's have a look and the change log here says updated custom icon packs. So let's have a look and see, tap on anywhere on the blank screen again to customize and then you swipe across towards your right hand side as you can see you got now new two packs riff on and dive so let's try dive first tap on dive it says applying the pack once you save it there you go all your icons are now rounded similarly you can change the other one as well go again swipe across towards your right and then riff on here apply riff on and then you can save so these are the two uh, custom uh, icon packs they have provided you i prefer to, to, to be honest the system default one because you get used to it but if you get bored you can always obviously change should you wish now next up is the dual sim recognition uh, which was also a big issue in the older update as you can see it says uh, addressed sim recognition issues with dual sim like i said earlier in the video i've got two sims in this phone so i'm going to go into settings and I'm going to enable dual sim right now uh, whilst we speak sim cards there we go and then from here I will enable the other sim as well there we go as says activating and just successfully uh, activated which is card one sim one as you can see both the sims are now up and running so as far as the issue of uh, recognition is concerned uh, you can easily have both the sims on on the phone at the same time without any issues whatsoever so thank you to oneplus for uh, fixing the issue straight away Okay, next up is the battery life. Now, lots of people obviously ask me this question every time there's an OTA update. As you guys know, I always do dedicated videos on OTA updates and every time I get asked about the standby time and the battery time. That's why I've been taking some screenshots and that's the whole purpose of living with the phone for so long so I can collect some stats to show you guys what exactly the battery life is like on the OnePlus 3. Now, I took a screenshot earlier today. I was using it down to 50% using SoundCloud, YouTube and I was able to achieve when the battery was down to 50%. Uh, 2 hours and 32 minutes of screen on time which is again very very good and it's pretty much the same which I had before in the older update so I can tell you that the battery life hasn't been affected I also took another screenshot earlier I think few days ago in fact it was yesterday and this was the standby time as well which I noted so around 4 past 2 in the early hours in the morning I left the phone on silent mode and battery at 78% and when I uh, uh, checked it at 1436 I would say this is approximately after 12 hours and I only lost 4% uh, as you can see in the top right corner it says 74% so standby wise uh, dose is working fine uh, in 12 hours you're losing only 4% which I think is very very good no issues here whatsoever also here I think this was also last night when I was using the phone and uh, from a full charge at around 100% uh, you can see YouTubing and different bits and bobs and I was able to on the Wi-Fi uh, achieve one hour and 15 minutes of screen on time with battery down to 81% which again will also show that by by the time I would have gone to 50% I would have achieved two and a half hours which I in fact showed you earlier so that's what it was so battery wise and standby mode wise no issues from what I can see so far and everything seems to be stable now last bit is the camera bit which I wanted to discuss very very quickly with you it says here improved camera quality and functionality now as such I didn't see any improvement in quality the camera was brilliant from day one and like I said in the earlier in the video uh, I haven't tested the video bit as such so far but I will test it and I will report back to you and if I see improvement in video I'll probably upload a sample as well but the one thing I noticed on the selfie camera and uh, that was the smile uh, smile function I'll show you just a moment what, what I mean if you go into the selfie camera just there guys 
there we go as you can see this on the top right corner just there uh, it says smile mode so if I was to cross with you now you can control smile mode if you smile towards the camera the camera will start taking pictures um, it's um, it wasn't it wasn't there before from what I remember or maybe it was I'm not too sure maybe I could be wrong but uh, this is what I saw earlier so let's take uh, um, a selfie screenshot there we go and let's smile from the camera there you go as you can see it takes pictures straight away and it keeps on taking pictures as well if you keep on smiling there you go and it's so sensitive and it picks up every time you do it so I really like the selfie camera especially the smile mode so it's very very nice once again even you give a bit of smile and it takes a picture straight away without any issues and, the, and as far as the quality is concerned you can see the quality is pretty pretty, pretty nice not too bad even though I'm in a low light condition in a dark room with just the lamps on top LED lamps but it's still taking some really good photos and to tell you what the detail is very nice by the way I'm recording with the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge so that was pretty much it guys if you like my video please uh, give it a thumbs up uh, any questions please feel free to ask me in the comment section and like always guys please subscribe as it helps and I shall see you in the next video